Okay, so there's the Visual Studio Community open. We look up here on the title bar. We can see that that's the name of the program. That's the active program. If I click here in this window, you can see then I have the new project button and an open button to open existing files. Now, unfortunately, on the Mac, they don't have the open websites option, so this program really doesn't work very good uh, for the HTML and the JavaScript class. But it'll work fine for the programming fundamentals. If we just go to New Project, come down here to the .NET Core, click on the App category, and then on the right, here's the templates available to us. So the default one that's selected is the console application. You could change your languages if you wanted to C-sharp or F-sharp. So C-sharp, traditionally what we use in the programming fundamentals class. So that's the choice we'll make. Then click Next. At this point, we're going to give it a name. So this would be my first project. And then notice, too, that the project name, when I type that in, also becomes the solution name. So one of the things you've got to get used to with Visual Studio, if you look on the right, here's a preview of it. Um, there's actually two folders that are going to be created for us. And these directories, these folders, are created because we have this check in the box here. See, if I remove that check, how it will not create the folder for the new project. It will just simply create the folder for the new solution. So generally, you want to have the parent folder as your solution folder, and then you can put one or more projects then into a particular solution. So. We can show you that a little bit later on, how you can, from within the Visual Studio interface, once we've got our solution open, how we can add new projects to it. And that's basically just going to add new folders into this solution and then uh, you know, a folder for each of the projects that we're, we're adding. In fact, just to kind of demonstrate the difference, let's go ahead and change this. Let's just call this solution folder, just so that you can see that that folder name there, that's the solution folder. and then. Inside of it, it contains a first project folder. Inside of the first project folder is where all the code files will be for that particular project. So each project you add will have its own collection of files, and they'll all be in their own project folder. You'll notice, too, that the solution folder contains then this solution folder file called the .sln, or solution file. And that just basically is a text file that keeps track of the location of where all your project files are located for this particular solution. So anytime you want to open a solution, you can go locate that file if you wanted to, double click on it, and it would open the solution in Visual Studio for you. Although you can also very quickly and easily from the Visual Studio start menu, getting started menu, or getting started screen here, um, you'll see that your recent projects will show up here, and so it's very easily uh, easy to click on those and, and open them from there. So I'm just going to click Create here for the new project. I put a space in my project name. Didn't want to do that. When you're writing code files, you don't want to put in spaces for file names. All right, so let's go ahead and click Create. So now our new project has opened. If we look over here on the left, you'll see this window that's named the Solution Explorer window, and it will contain then all of the folders and files that make up the solution that you currently have open. So in our case, we're seeing again that parent folder called the Solution folder, and then inside of it, there's our first project folder, um, folder, and then inside of it is the actual file that you see open here on the right, the program.cs file. So that's just how C Sharp always sets things up. Your project file, console project file, will always have this program class file, and that's the file that's going to run first when we go to run the program. So just to test this out now, you can see the code's actually already written for us here. It's just going to use a console object and its write line method to write this text, this string text here to the screen. And so the way that we can run this is we go up here and we can choose run and go with the start debugging or start without debugging would be the preferred method when you're running your console apps. Unless you're trying to actually troubleshoot a problem, then you may need to use the debugging function. But for most of the time, you're going to be just testing your code by using the start without debugging option. And you'll notice the shortcut key there. Uh, so option, command, enter. So let's give that a try here. Let's go ahead and do option, command, press enter, or return on a Mac, sorry. And you can see it's building our project. It's telling us that up here in the title bar. And 
now down here, a console window is open, and there's the actual console window, and now it's going to run the code, and there you go, the output of our code, the good old hello world text string.